Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm with Stephen Lawtons, the new president of uh, True Precious Metals. TRU is the ticker on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Stephen? I'm doing great, Chris. Thanks for having me on. So you recently joined the company. Uh, why, what brought you on board? Well, uh, a really interesting opportunity brought me on board. The, uh, the current management was looking for a, uh, a president. And uh, the, uh, I looked at the project and uh, what I saw was, was really good people uh, in the management and a really interesting project, a really exciting project in Newfoundland. And I'm used to having uh, worked in China and Cambodia. So Newfoundland seems a lot closer to home. Well, yeah, you and I go way back. The last time I spoke with you, you were working for a company that eventually about 20 years ago that eventually got taken over. So it bodes well for uh, true precious metal investors. Um, your primary project or your flagship project is the Golden Rose project. So what made that interesting for you to come on board? Uh, well, um, True's Golden Rose project in, in sort of the middle of, uh, of the island of Newfoundland is interesting because it has really great neighbors. Uh, the uh, Marathon Gold's uh, Valentine uh, Gold Project is just uh, a little bit up the same fault line from, from where True's uh, Golden Rose is. And uh, the geology is, is really interesting. It's a, it's a big fault system that uh, is mineralized and runs from, you know, across the, uh, across the island. And it's, it's just a, a really great prospective uh, piece of property. And uh, how many projects do you actually have in, in Newfoundland and sort of the size? You've got uh, a, a district size sort of scale for that project, but you've got some other projects as well, right? Yeah. The, uh, if you put them all together, it's about 305 uh, um, um, square kilometers. The um, uh, Golden Rose is about 236, 235 square kilometers. But we also have Twilight and a couple of other sort of little satellite projects all, along the way. But they're all up and down it, the same fault system. Oh, that's great. And so the, uh, the Golden Rose project, you put some drill results out today. Maybe we can just talk about those for a bit. Yeah, we're, we're quite happy. Um, on Golden Rose now, uh, with, with these results, we've hit five out of five uh, holes with uh, gold mineralization. Uh, the ones that are today, and again, they're, they're, they're quite consistent. Uh, the ones today included um, 12 meters at, uh, at just a little over one gram a ton and seven meters at uh, 1.7 grams per ton with an yep. internal uh, almost 2.4 grams a ton over uh, over four yep. meters. So you know, these are similar kinds of grades and depths that we're actually seeing at the uh, at Marathon Gold's Valentine project up the road from us. And for investors who may not know the project, um, this is a uh, near surface mineralization, open pitable, what, what, what are you looking at for a type of yeah, uh, well, it, project? And, and uh, Valentine, uh, uh, Valentine Gold Project up, up the road with uh, Marathon is, is near surface. And we're only talking about, uh, at the moment, we're looking at two bands. That we haven't been at depth yet, but we're looking at two bands sort of at 50 and, and, and 100 and, and so meters. The, um, um, that, that seems to be where the mineralization is. So you want to be obviously as close to surface as possible because that eventually makes it uh, hopefully cheaper to, to extract in, in the future. So it, it's, uh, it, it's very exciting. And like I say, when you see consistency across all of your drill results, um, it's, it, it starts to uh, look like you know, a, a regional uh, property, which is great. And what's the current cash balance? Well, that was one of the things that actually, uh, when I, I joined uh, True and I was looking at it, I, I, I was pleased to do because often the uh, the president's first job is to go out and raise their own salary. Uh, the uh, but, but True uh, did a raise and at its last published financial statement, there's $4.9 million in the bank, uh, which is pretty remarkable for a junior explorer these days. Uh, we've done exploration since then. So, you know, that's been reduced by our current drill program and a few other things. But, you know, we still have a comfortable amount of money in the bank. And so for this summer, uh, how are you going to deploy those funds? Well, uh, at the moment, we're still releasing a couple of drill holes. We have uh, we did a dr drill program of 22 holes uh, that we are now just uh, reporting on. We've uh, reported on, um, uh, on seven of those so far, and there's still uh, 15 left to go. So we'll be reporting on those. We just announced uh, the beginning of a, uh, a very advanced 3D IP uh, program that will be starting any day now. And it's gonna give us real-time 3D modeling and uh, with the use of AI as well, it's been used by other companies with great success to identify 
the best targets that uh, for, for future drilling. So we have the IP project. There's going to be, we have ongoing soil sampling across, uh, across the property, across most prospective areas. And uh, that, that will be, we haven't, uh, we haven't planned it yet, but no doubt that'll be followed up by drilling. Well, that sounds like a very, uh, you know, a heavy work uh, year for you coming up. A um, lot to do. Yeah, and, and, and Newfoundland right now is a very active uh, space, as you mentioned, and you've got a, a team out there that, that's uh, ready to go then for you. Yeah, now the, in the, you know, the gold rush in, in Newfoundland has uh, caused us uh, a little bit of difficulty because everyone, there's one assay lab uh, in, in Newfoundland and everybody's using it. So they're backed up like crazy. So we're fighting to get our results out as quickly as we can. Um, and you know, we're pleased that we just put a press release with, uh, with a number of holes. Um, and there's, like I say, 15 more already drilled holes that we're waiting on assays for. So we're, we're, we're very much looking forward to getting those out. Yeah. And as every investor knows, I mean, you have to have the uh, assays to come back, plus the new geophys and sampling to help you direct your, your future exploration. Um, so we understand that. But it's, it's great that you guys got a good bank account. Uh, so it looks like there's going to be lots of activity uh, and, uh, you know, interest in this junior uh, gold exploration company. So I appreciate your time today, Stephen. Uh, I was talking to Stephen Lawton, who is the new president of uh, True Precious Metals. Uh, the symbol is TRU on the TSX Venture Exchange, and they are exploring their Golden Rose project as their main one in uh, Newfoundland. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.